Uh, welcome back again guys to my uh, YouTube channel and uh, thank you very much for keep watching on all my videos and sh thank you very much also for sharing it and today I have a service call for the uh, Forona radar and the uh, uh, GRC radar the other one here uh, yeah. and the uh, problem of this uh, the report I mean is uh, uh, they lost the uh, EIS data, but now it uh, was here. Okay, when I click this, okay, I have the EIS. So when I click this one, I have here the uh, data. Okay. So what I did, uh, I just refresh it. Uh, try to turn on and off the AS but uh, what they uh, told me yesterday is uh, they did it also but uh, uh, it is not working it is not uh, I mean it was not uh, uh, corrected or it was not uh, uh, I mean the trouble was not uh, fixed so what I did now uh, I just refresh the uh, radar I mean, uh, refresh is uh, just turning on and off the uh, EIS uh, on the uh, menu. And you can go to menu. Yeah. And you can see EIS here. Okay. So now the second problem is the uh, this EIS uh, EIS loss. I have the IS collision also there. So this old EIS uh, alarm, you can see it from here. Okay. Okay, so uh, where is it? You see the EIS lost filter. So yes, just go there, click, okay, I'm using this trackball and this one. Okay. So I just do the track, use the track one to go in the box filter AIS and click it. We have here the uh, maximum range, the main shift speed, and uh, except uh, class B. This is the restriction of the AIS uh, to do the uh, tracking. So if you allow this. Uh, and uh, you lost the signal of this uh, type of, uh, of parameters, then he will give you, uh, give you the uh, AIS lost uh, signal. You see, AIS lost. Okay. You know what happened here? Uh, this is in the maximum range. So it means uh, he is receiving the maximum range uh, whatever he can reach. What happened is uh, because maybe of the distance or the receive of the other EIS to another one, respect to another one, because both of them should be uh, receiving, transmit, receiving, and transmit. So this EIS lost will be in a very far away. And then what happened when it is a lost, a long, very long uh, distance uh, signal, it's sometimes getting uh, cut the signal. So, you should go here, you see, we will see. You should go here in a maximum range, and this is, uh, uh, the settings is called nautical, uh, nautical miles, okay? I just put this in, in on, okay? Just click, just use this click button, and uh, go to on, and it is called nautical miles, okay? So now it is on. Again, go to back and acknowledge the alarm. Okay. See, it is lost. Okay, yeah, it's lost. Okay, just acknowledge it. Okay, so no more alarm. So we will just wait for uh, some time and I will just uh, give to you the uh, update. Okay, this is what is the uh, actually this is the problem. Uh, he's uh, trying to uh, track the uh, very long distance uh, 
uh, uh, AIS uh, unit, it is the other one. So we don't know which what, which one of them uh, having a weak signal. It is a transmit and receive. So uh, we don't know if this EIS is weak or this the other EIS is weak also. So we don't know about it. Cancel the target. So this one also, what I did here, and the other one. Okay, I'll do the transmit. Uh, TX, uh, okay, here is the TX. And so what I did also here, I have the EIS uh, button here. I just uh, turn on. Okay, then that is off because it is not uh, in uh, grain. So when I press, okay, it is highlighted. So I have the EIS. Uh, what happened? Maybe uh, my this is my EIS. Okay, this is GHH uh, one eight three. There is some interruption maybe yesterday. Uh, there is uh, some uh, voltage uh, fluctuation. And then what happened is the communication between both of the uh, GRC or the radar uh, NAMIA converter uh, have the uh, uh, what they call the uh, interference so the signal was uh, stopped so what you will do you just uh, restart the uh, GRC turn the power off totally and turn it on again and then just try to uh, on and off also the AIS uh, in the radar or otherwise if you cannot get or uh, the, still the problem exists. Uh, try to turn off all the equipments. Yeah, I mean, not, I mean the two equipments. Either the radar, this ra uh, the EIS, and the, uh, the uh, radar. Uh, I mean, turning off means turn the power from the breaker. Okay, don't turn off here in the, in the bottom. So. So I didn't see any more uh, EIS lost here. Yeah. Okay, so I don't have the alarm anymore. So that's it, guys. Uh, Chief, just try to explain to you. This EIS lost. Uh -huh. What happened? This radar totally collapsed yesterday, right? Uh -huh. So the parameters change. What happened? Those EIS lost we have here in the uh, menu. Okay, I'll just show you. This is number four. Okay, here is the EIS lost filter. So here, this is the parameters which he will follow. So he will limit the EIS. Approximately, he control signal whatever he can uh, distance he will. But the problem is. When it is a very far distance, both of them communicating, he already registered that one, right? So he is already in his memory. What happened? It's very far. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know if our vessel is weak or that vessel is weak mm -hmm. in a very far away. Mm -hmm. So here, you should put here in the parameters which not allow him to transmit a very long. So AIS here. EIS lost filter, right? So before this is off. Okay? So means he is transmitting, he is receiving any signal. Any signal he is receiving. So when he received, and that vessel is very far. So when he received, okay, I will register this. But for some time it is very, because it's very far, it lost. Actually, why, you know? Now, now I know, because this. Another vessel also AIS lost. I know because this sometimes no catching this. <laughs> oh, not catching. But the problem was we had this afternoon this problem where all we <laughs> now we not get any echoes in afternoon. Yeah, that's another story. Uh, that's why you know this. this you see, this, you have AIS lost, right? Yes, yes. Uh. Now so because of this, we thought maybe this is some. Uh, now I will turn on this. Yeah, it's lost 12 yeah, I'll just put it in 12 nautical miles maximum only. Okay, on. 
and then acknowledge this. Now you know. <laughs> Another vessel also the same, because most of the uh, settings on the radar, there is uh, on and off parameters for the uh, lost signal of VIS. So actually, most of the uh, radar don't have that parameters. In some only, in some models only, mm -hmm. because they don't allow. I don't know. It's AMO. Uh -huh. They don't allow to not to uh, limit the uh, yeah, uh, distance because supposed to be as you just receive it. Because in any circumstances, distress is distress. It should be. So I can look better for the maximum. Or yeah, to out, uh, already uh, 24 maximum. 24 nautical miles is nothing, you cannot, cannot do more than 24. They can uh, do more, but it will give you alarm if you have, uh, if they have. Because you don't know which one, you are the weak or they are the weak. Uh -huh. So 24, 24 is, uh, 12 nautical miles is very, actually it is not about the, uh, the uh, EIS, you can still see here. You see, I put it in maximum, that is 12, right? I put it in 96. Everything he will pick up. But Whatever, yeah, yeah, okay. He will pick up, but he's not registering it in the memory for tracking. You can see it. You see, this is how many nautical miles this one. Very far. So it's confirmed, no, no problem. With no, 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 no. I, I didn't see any problem with this. Do you have a YouTube yeah. channel? Yeah. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah. What is uh, your I will give you. Okay. Because some of the vessels are the same. When there is any interruption of the power voltage, this collapse. The uh, Namiya signal collapse. Mm -hmm. So you need to, uh, most probably, you need to turn off this both equipment. Totally. Mm, totally. And take a little time and on it again. What happened? Because maybe a long time since yesterday, it is refreshed himself already. That's why it come back. But the problem of this is these settings didn't come back because it's totally uh, reset. Uh, so these parameters should be uh, you have you should have the limits here in this AIS. You see how many uh, minutes already? Never come back. You go vacation cup? Me? Huh? Why? <laughs> it's COVID. <laughs> I will just uh, stay here until uh, maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. no. Why you guess I'm going for vacation? Hmm? Why you guess I'm going for vacation? Yes, I, it's a long time I didn't see you. No, uh, I am leaving vacation. I just uh, joined uh, one and a half months ago. Ah, that's why, that's why I'm not seeing you. This one also is good. Spend the three months on the game. Oh, very nice.
you go to AIS loss detail there and you can see here max range most probably this is the one giving uh, alarm and lost signal because of a very long range uh, registry and uh, and a very weak transmit or receive of each of the EIS units so this is the one uh, most of the time uh, problem of the uh, vessels so thank you very much guys again for keep watching on my videos and uh, this is able to keep, keep your vessel okay. and uh, thank you very much for sharing also and uh, until next time have a nice day bye bye